Uh, yes, good morning, children. Today we are going to continue direct and indirect speech with the next part that is today we'll be doing the exclamatory or optative sentences. So, right? And earlier we did that day we did interrogative sentences. First, let us revise one or two sentences from interrogative part. Then we'll come to the, this today's part that is exclamatory sentences and optative. First, let us revise uh, interrogative sentences. Uh, she She inquired of me what the matter was. So all of you please change its narration. She inquired of me what the matter was. All of you write the answer. <clears throat> okay. You people might have been able to make out like it is already indirect speech. It's already indirect. Okay. Now we have to change indirect into direct. So she inquired of me means she said to me. What the matter was means We'll change it into interrogative sentence. What is the matter? Question mark and commas closed. So she inquired of me what the matter was. Inquired means she asked me or she said to me what W capital. Because now we are writing one interrogative sentence here. There W was small because it was one complex sentence. But now we have made this one simple sentence that is interrogative sentence. What is the matter? Was. Was will convert, past will convert into present in the direct speech. When we go from direct to indirect, then the rule is present to past. And when we come from uh, indirect to direct, then it will be past to present. Got it? So the rule will, of course, uh, get reversed. When we change narration from direct to indirect, the rule is always present to past. But when we are changing indirect into direct, the rule will be past to present. Is that clear? So here said to could have been also changed into she asked, she asked me. It can also be, she inquired of me. Is that clear? So now next sentence, all of you please write. <clears throat> My mother inquired of her son if he had done his work. Now change this indirect speech into direct speech. Come on, write the answer. I will check anyone's notebook now. Jant, be ready to show me your screen to show me your notebook. All of you be ready to show me the notebook. Set your camera and notebook like that. Yes, Kirtima, show me the work. Kirtima, show me your notebook. Dharia will show me the notebook. And then Jayant will show me the notebook. Okay. Manevit can also show me the notebook. Gurpal can also show me the notebook. Jayant can also show me the notebook. Let me. Yes, come on. Uh, let me uh, give you the permission. Yes. 
now you can turn your videos on yes gurpal your notebook uh, i can see hmm jyanti i can't i can't see your notebook yet dhare you are to show me your notebook jyant dhare mane bhi i can see your notebook okay kirtima show me notebook so those four children those who have been pinned they are to show notebook the man uh gurpal your answer is not very correct make it correct dhairya jyant kirtima where are these children uh today uh, uh manavit you will take the screenshot and please note down the names of the defaulters defaulters are the ones who are not responding note down the name of jyant kirtima and dhairya okay yes uh, Jia and Janvi, yes, show the notebook. But I can't. Uh, Kirti Ma, yes, now your notebook is visible. What happened earlier? My mother inquired. Her son, have you done your work? Yeah, it's okay. Inquired of of will also come with it. When in the given sentence of is there, then why have you removed of, Kirti Ma? Jia and Janvi, speak up, beta. Jia, Janvi, speak the answers. Yeah, speak up, beta. Uh, speak up, any one of you. My mother said to her, "Have you done your work?" Just a minute. Yeah, now you speak. My mother, my mother said to her son, "Have you done your work?" Yes, correct answer. Yes, children, all of you, please note down. My mother, my mother, my mother said to her son. So it it is a little confusing that my mother said to her son. So maybe it is me only, but my mother can talk to her son also. so my mother said to her son have you done your work question mark and inverted commas closed so why is it so because my mother inquired of her son means my mother said to her son then if he had so when we use if as conjunction it means that the interrogative sentence started with a verb now which verb if he had done had will change into present that is have have you done your work question mark is that clear okay now next let's do one more sentence then we will shift to the next part all of you keep your notebooks ready to show yes dharya now your notebook is visible where is dharya where were you earlier Ma'am, my camera was not working. Okay. And there was some issue. But I can see only two sentences. But there should be four sentences of notebook. Question and answer. Yeah, question, है ना? So do it very Maybe properly. Some... Hmm. Okay. Now you can uh, uh, you can uh, turn off your video. Gurpal will keep the video on. If Gurpal, you are comfortable. Jayant is not turning on the video. anyways jyant ka on karne dete hain okay now next question is i said why didn't you 
Open your book. In your class, Mohit, I said, why didn't you open your book in your class, Mohit? First write the question, then write the answer. Come on. <clears throat> if somebody can call Jayant, please tell him to turn on camera and show me the notebook. Otherwise his parents will have to come to school to explain like what he does when the classes are on. Okay, Chaitanya will give answer. Chaitanya. Chaitanya, yes, ma'am. Give the answer. Yes, give the answer. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I said that why it, why it didn't why why didn't he open his book? Okay. What does the what does past tense in change into? What does the past tense change into? Present. Hmm? Ma'am, present perfect. No, but present tense is to past and past tense is to past perfect. Okay, ma'am. Present tense is to past and past tense is to past perfect. It is past, it okay. will change into past perfect. So did not will change into had not. Did not will change into had not plus third form will go in the open, opened. Okay, Raghav will give answer. Yes, ma'am. The answer is, I asked Mohit why he had not opened his book in his class. Yes, very good answer. Very good. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'll ask others later on. I asked Mohit. So first thing you are to note was, I said to whom it was to Mohit. Okay, I said to Mohit. So I asked Mohit, why word if a sentence starts with a wh word then that very word is taken as an as a conjunction so i asked mohit why after this we have to take the subject you you is second person so whenever there is second person pronoun in the reporting speech we change it according to the object of reporting verb and what's the object over here here object is mohit so you will become he. I asked Mohit why he, so did not will become had, why he had not opened, third form. Why he had not opened his book. In, in his class. Full stop. Got it? So I asked Mohit why he had not opened his book in the in his class. Yes. Okay, now next. So let's now move to another sentence. Now let's start with the exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory. Before we do exclamatory sentences for narration. Let us first do one, a few sentences for simple ones. How tall the boy is? What kind of sentence is it? How tall the boy is? What kind of sentence is it? Yes, Kurshan Singh. 
Give answer. An exclamatory. Yeah, this is an exclamatory sentence. What's the identity of an exclamatory sentence? Its its verb is in the end. Its verb is not like like uh, how tall how tall is. If I say how tall is the boy, if I say this, then what will what will happen to it? If I say how tall is the boy, then what will you say about this sentence? Which sentence is it then? Yes. Which sentence is it? Anshaya, raise hand. Gurpal, yes. Memes are two sentences. No. Wrong answer. Anshaya, yes. Mem interrogative sentence. Yeah. When the verb is here, how tall is the boy? Then it will become an interrogative. It will become a question. So it's a matter of like if is is here before the subject, then it is interrogative. If it is after the subject, it is exclamatory. Is that clear? Now the now let us do one more example. What a beautiful painting. What a beautiful painting. Now what kind of sentence is it? What a beautiful painting. Yes. Jayant ji, are you still absent? Jayant. Okay, Krishna will give answer. Krishna. Yes, Krishna, come on. Yes. Krishna ji, unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm saying what a beautiful painting. What kind of sentence is it? Why do you uh, mute yourself again and again? Yes. Okay, Gurpal, give answer. An exclamatory. Yes, it is an exclamatory sentence. What a beautiful painting. Uh, can I complete it more? If I say what a beautiful painting it is. I'm interrogative. No, it is still exclamatory because verb is in the end. Verb is after the subject. What a beautiful painting it is. It's still exclamatory. Okay, we can remove it is. Even without it is correct. Even with this it is correct. But better, what a beautiful painting it is. How easy the paper is. So nice of you. Something like this. So these are exclamatory sentences. So when you get an exclamatory sentence in the narration, what will you do? How tall the boy is in the narration when you will get this kind of sentence, you will change the exclamatory into assertive. You will change it. The boy is very tall. Remember, when you will change the narration, when you will get an exclamatory sentence in the narration, you will change the exclamatory into a simple, that is assertive sentence. So how tall the boy is will become, the boy is very tall. If you get what a beautiful flower it is, you will change that into the flower is very beautiful. If you get uh, how difficult the question is, 
you will change that into you people tell how difficult the question is that will change into raise hand if you know the answer yes anshaya come on the question is very difficult yes the if you get how tall the sorry how difficult the question is you will change that into how uh, the question is very difficult so when you get exclamatory sentences in the narration you will change them into simple assertive sentence okay gurpal you want to say something yes gurpal okay he doesn't want to say anything now write the sentence children my sister said my sister said <clears throat> how big this box is come on change its narration now how big this box is yes Gaurav, yes, give the answer. Gaurav. Gaurav, raise hand. Gaurav, please raise hand. Okay, Raghav, yes. Ma'am, the answer is my sister said that the box was very big. Okay, you have done one thing correct that you have changed this into simple sentence that the box was very big. Box was very big. So tense will change as it is present into past and past into past perfect. And but what about this side? Yes, Janvi and Jia. What about the first side? Well, my sister exclaimed with surprise that the box was very big. Yes, when we change exclamatory sentence into indirect form, then even this expression will also change. My sister exclaimed with wonder or with whatever you were saying. my sister exclaimed with wonder that the box was very big so simply said will change into exclaimed with the kind of emotion you think is there in that sentence my sister exclaimed with wonder that the yeah that the box was very big right one more sentence my sister said wow we have won my sister said wow we have won so what will be the answer Tushar, unmute yourself. Jayanth has been absent today. Tushar, yes, unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yes, ma yes, give the answer. Tushar, yes. What happened? Tushar, raise hand. the party give the answer yes ma'am 
My sister exclaimed with joy that we had won, won the match. That? We had won. We. No, but my sister is, when I say my sister, I mean she. Okay? When I say my sister, it means she. Right now, she is not with me right now. Third person it is. So, we will change it to they then. Okay? My sister exclaimed with joy that they had have will change it to had one that they had one is that clear okay Tushar yes you know your time is over now write the next sentence Gurleen Kaur. Gurleen Kaur, show me your notebook. Next sentence now, children. Uh, exclamatory we have done. Now let's do optatives. Though the time is coming to an end, but still we can spend five, four minutes. Now let's do optative sentence. What is an optative sentence? The sentence which expresses a wish or desire. For example, for example, if I say, uh, may God bless you, may God bless you, it's an optative sentence because it's a wish, it's a prayer. If I say, would that I were a king, would that I were a king, it's also a wish. So this is also optative sentence. So an optative sentence is the one which expresses a desire or a wish. Is that clear? So you must know, first of all, that it is an optative sentence. So when you get these kinds of sentences in the narration, then what, what do we do? For example, if I say, she said, may God bless you. So we will change it to like, a, she wished that God might bless me. So it, it's for form will not change much. So write down, my mother said to me, my mother said, Gurleen, turn on your video, please. My mother said to me, may God bless you. So what will come? Its answer will be, my mother wished that God might bless me. Why me? Why you will change it to me? Because the subject is me. Object is me. So my mother wished that God might bless me. Okay, today I'll be sending you one exercise. Right now I'll click the pic and I'll send you one exercise uh, for your practice. Please do that. Okay, Gurleen is also absent.